Lockie and I began our trip at the sleepy little town of Nudgee, just over an hour's drive from Melbourne. And although we were sport for choices in regards to local four-wheel drive tracks, we couldn't seem to make our minds up on where to go. So like all men in crisis, we went to the pub. Our guest host on this journey is Jason Locke from Unique 4x4. Now this is his stomping ground, he knows it like the back of his hand. But we thought we'd drop into the Nuji Hotel, catch up with Simon, because he's the local man and he's going to know exactly what the tracks are doing. Mate, what's happening out there at the moment? Well, the track's pretty wet, mate. We've had a heap of rain, so uh, make sure you've got a winch handy. So it's pretty slippery? Very. What are the rocks like out there? Uh, well, probably slippery too. <laughs> pretty slippery too, because they're wet as the mud. <laughs> mate, where do you recommend a good track? We've got some campers on. We don't want to get ourselves stuck on the first day. Right, so you don't want to go too hard then. I'd suggest go up the Borbore Tourist Road, drop off Ferguson's Road, and take the first track on the right. First on the right? Sounds you, good. You know that one, Lucky? I do. Been down there once or twice before. Look at that. What could possibly go wrong? Well, thanks to Simon, we now knew which tracks to get stuck into, but we still needed a place to stay. So we got the Mars, the John A's and the Goldstream campers and we hit the road in search of the perfect camping location. About 15 minutes out of town we came across a beautiful little campground by the name of Poplar's Reserve which we all decided was the picture perfect location to call home for the night. The boys quickly got stuck into setting up the camp and most importantly of all we got the fire up and going. 